Hey guys, uh, Rob here. Welcome to the tutorial. This tutorial is going to cover chat sounds using Sirenscape with the Deluxe Oz sound extension in Fantasy Grounds. So, first things first, if you have not watched the tutorial on setting up your voice meter and Sirenscape sounds with Discord, already you need to watch that so this will assume that you know all that information um, and assume that you know about starting sirenscape after first setting the defaults to cable b uh, also setting up your voice commands in your first instance of discord as well as your second instance of discord ptb and changing all the voice settings for those if you have no idea what i'm referring to that means you have to go watch that tutorial so now that we've established that uh, we will be talking about the Deluxe Oz extensions. Uh, so, in Fantasy Grounds, you would want to probably at least have three things. You'd want to have the DOE Sound Manual Mod, which you can download from the Fantasy Grounds forums. So, the DOE Sound Manual Mod, and then that goes in your Modules folder, obviously in your Extensions folder. You need two extensions, and those extensions are DOE Base, DOE sound. So DOE is deluxe Oz extension. So you need the base extension and the sound. So you would have the mod I showed you and these two extensions. So those three things all installed when you open Fancy Grounds. So when you go to your settings and if you have the extension installed, you'll see sound here. You want to make sure that's on. Also, you'll have a sound button. It might not be pretty and purple like mine is, but it will be there and it'll open up the sounds window. And everything should probably be blank in there. Uh, there's sounds, there's setup, there's mini boards, there's auto sounds which populate as you play and like when you roll initiative it puts an initiative thing in there, when you apply an effect it puts that in there. But what we're doing today is we're doing sounds, chat sounds. Now I have a bunch of these in here, this will be blank for you guys if you haven't built any because you do have to build these yourself. Uh, how you build those is not my, not my business, that is a completely other thing that you would learn from Deluxe Oz himself in his tutorials, and his sound manual does have the instructions on how to do that. So this tutorial that I'm doing now is just to set up the sounds to pipe them through to the stream through Discord and Sirenscape and making sure that that works through your uh, chat window when players uh, do things to cause sounds to go. So I have, let's say I have Acid, Acid Splash built here. It looks like this. The sound is there. If you click it, you hear Acid Splash. That, is, that does come from the, the Sirenscape uh, place is where that comes from. And the sound's already built. Now the trigger I have is in brackets damage and Acid Splash. So this trigger reads the chat. So if I type in Acid Splash, nothing's going to happen. If I type in damage... Acid Splash, just as it's there with case sensitivity in the brackets and everything. We should hear... Yes, we do. So now, I have a second instance of Fantasy Grounds open with uh, the San Mika character connected there. And so she's going to cast Acid Splash. Now when she casts it, we see that she's cast it, but you don't hear a sound. Because the trigger is not for casting, but for damage. If you change the word damage to the word cast, you would have heard the sound. But I have it set for damage, so when, now when she does the damage for Acid Splash, it's going to come across, and you're going to hear, uh, you're going to hear that, um, because that's what the trigger sound for. Now I have something in here. I have the dodge effect set up. Uh, for whatever reasons, uh, in Fantasy Grounds, on your effects, when you open your effects, dodge is not one of the effects that's over here. Uh, I don't know why it's not there, but it's never there. So I, I built Dodge because I, I built 150 effects. Uh, so let's go look up Dodge. And let's open the Combat Tracker and let's apply Dodge to Moon. Okay, so you heard the sound. Because the Dodge effect is just the word Dodge. So when I applied it, it said something about Dodge in the, in the chat. If I type the word Dodge... It's still going to make the sound. So, uh, if I was going, if I said, 
let's type it as it is in the chat. Effect space bracket tick dodge. Okay, so now this right here matches exactly what that the space, the bracket, the tick, the capital D, everything. It has to be exact. So now if I go and I apply dodge again to moon, let's apply it to Kuros, you hear it. Now the thing that's cool is if you leave it that way, it's only going to do it when you apply the effect. So if I go through the rounds, you're never going to hear anything. But if I make it just the word dodge by itself, you would have heard it when it's applied. And you would hear it when it comes up to the person's turn. Because the word dodge appears. Uh, when Kiros went, it said dodge. And she has dodge on her. So I leave mine just as the word. But that, that just goes to show you that you can set this up in many different ways. Um, back to the acid splash. Uh... I have it set up to where it only triggers if it says damage acid splash. If you just if you just put acid splash by itself, every time the words acid splash appeared over here, no matter if it was casting damage or even if somebody just typed in acid splash, it, it would trigger. But if you have it set up as damage acid splash, now when I type in acid splash over here. It's not going to do anything because I have it set up to where it only triggers for damage. So that is how that works. And as long as you have your sounds set up, each of them as you want them, you have the triggers set up properly. And uh, you can either type things in the, in the chat or have the player trigger something from across uh, on their side. Uh, do I have poison spray? Oh, I do. Excellent. That sounds. That's what that sounds like. Uh, then that's how that works. Um, the only thing to keep in mind is if you're DMing and you have a mob on the combat tracker and you try to do a sound effect from casting, say you cast uh, acid spray from the combat tracker, that will not work because the, that did not travel across the internet. So the, the sound has to actually go from a player to here. Uh, so you would have to trigger uh, the sound manually if you wanted it to be DM sound from a mob in the combat tracker. That's the only thing to remember about that. Um, basically, that does cover everything. That that covers uh, having the sounds go through Sirenscape. I can actually... Uh, let's just do one more thing real quick before we end here and show you this working. So let me trigger a sound, and then I will qu quickly click over to... And you'll see the Sirenscape green light light up, and I'll also show it on voice meter. So let's see if we can do one that lasts a while. What lasts a while? Let's just see. Oh, let's try Burning Hands. She has Burning Hands. Okay, she's going to cast Burning Hands. San Mika is going to cast it from the other computer, and it'll trigger here. Then when it triggers, I'll go and I'll show it to you in Discord, and I'll show it to you on voice meter. So here we go. Burning Hands. There it is. You're hearing it. There it is in Discord. The green light's lit up, and you see it in voice meter going in Sirenscape and also Discord. Now it's coming back down. So that's pretty much how that all works. Uh, that should not be confusing to you if you've gone through the other tutorial. That should pretty much clear up how to get your chat sounds going and also covers a little bit about the auto sounds uh, in here as well. Remember that auto sounds are off of a, a, a different type of uh, a different type of verbiage. So transfer parcel, all lowercase, all smashed together, all one word is how that works. I changed the title to Transfer Parcel just so I can see it better. Uh, whisper whisper is the word whisper, so it's just the same. But you see it's lowercase there, but I changed it to, to uppercase. But if somebody whispers in the chat, then, you know, hi, then it plays the little whisper sound. So it's, it's whatever you guys have set up. You can hear the whisper sound. It's whatever you guys have set up for those auto sounds. But I wasn't really covering auto sounds so much as I was chat sounds that's just a little taste but uh, once you get once you get chat sounds down then uh, you will be able to go and, and work with all these auto sounds as they build this starts empty and as your can campaign goes on it starts putting things in there for roll initiative and what else uh, so if you see the roll initiative one it's apply and knit but I changed the title to roll initiative 
so that when somebody does in fact roll initiative, uh, we get that sound. So there we go. So there you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you learned a lot. And if you have any questions, uh, ding me on Discord and I will try to do my best. But the best thing I can tell people when they have questions is go back and watch the tutorial again. You probably missed something. So thanks a lot, guys. And we'll see you in the next tutorial. I am going to also do one on streaming music and streaming background theme sounds, uh, which involves uh, uh, more complicated stuff. So that's it, guys. And happy gaming.